Hello, welcome, and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the Q117 Sample and Hold module. This is the module I think you guys will be interested in, so let's put it in and see what it does. Okay, so we're going to put in our Sample and Hold module. I'm going to take this double panel out. And we're going to take our Sample and Hold module right there. And I'm going to need to get another power cable. and then we'll put a single blank next to it there we go okay we have our sample and hold installed I'm coming out of the noise output the noise generator and using that as an input signal for the sample and hold, which means it's going to, at a certain rate, which is determined by the sample rate, it's going to sample that input signal and create an output, and it's going to hold that output until the next sample. That output I have sending over to the MIDI interface so that it can control the oscillator. Um, we have that add-in portion. That means I can also control the oscillator from the keyboard, and I can add sample and hold. Now the input level determines how big a swing the output is going to have. The sample rate is going to determine how fast this thing runs. Okay, so what if we decided not to sample noise, but to sample a waveform? Well, I have oscillator 3 set in low frequency mode. And I'm going to come up here and plug into the sawtooth. I can transpose on the keyboard. And if I change the frequency of that waveform, we get an effect like that. If we do the ramp, it'll go up instead of down. If we do the triangle, it goes up and down. Now we're only hearing a, a sound as I hold a key down because the key is turning on the envelope generators, which is turning on the filters. Wouldn't it be cool though, if for every clock of the sample and hold, these fired as well? We can do that with an external clock. So I'm gonna take the keyboard gate out and I'm going to take the, the clock from oscillator 2, which is also running at a slow speed. Flip this to external. Okay, now we're gating it externally, but we're also gating the envelope generator. So that's a way to uh, gate your VCA, VCF in sync with the sample and hold by just simply gating it externally. So what if you were to take the this output that's going into the add-in and run it into the SLU limiter that we talked about last episode? Now, instead of going directly to each note, we can have it glide to those notes. That's very cool.
So another way to use sample and hold is rather than send it to the frequency of the oscillator, let's send it to the filter. Now this way we can play the sound, play the, the pitch that we want, and have the sample and hold just affect the tone of it. A little more musical. And we can add the slew limiter to that. And let's let the uh, external gate do this, and so that now we get our envelope generator. That's a very cool sound. So that's using the noise, sample and hold, slew limiter, oscillator for tone, oscillator for external clock, gating our envelope generators and our filter and VCA. Now I'll tell you a little secret. Synthesizers.com makes a module that actually puts all of these into one. You should check that out. It's called Sample and Hold Plus Plus. We may do a video on that later. But right now we're just talking about the basics of how these things work and what they do. And that's our sample and hold. So that was the sample and hold module. That was a lot of fun. Next episode, we're going to look at the LFO++, the Q167. Having a dedicated LFO is a great asset to a modular system. That way your oscillators are free to make music. So be sure and check that one out. Appreciate you guys coming around and seeing the videos. If you're getting anything from them, hit the like button, share it with your friends. So come back and check out the LFO module. It's got some surprises I want you to see. We'll see you then.